Hello, this is a quick test to make sure your printer is operating correctly. What we're testing is the travel distance of one of the rails. So if you were to type in the interface uh, to move uh, 100 millimeters, which is 10 centimeters, uh, that it actually moves 10 centimeters. And this could be operating incorrectly if the motor switches are incorrect. And on our motors here, this is what the motor switches look like, as you can see here. Let me get a good focus on that, thank you. So these switches control how many pulses the motors need to operate correctly. And on our version 9 and 10 printers, it should be 3 and 4. Uh, if there's a piece of tape covering this, uh, uh, you could actually accidentally have bumped the switches through the tape. So here's the test to see if your motors are working correctly. So, let me get focus back on there. So here we have the uh, Z rail and directly from the bottom here, it's about 360 or millimeters, so 36 there. And you could also measure it with calipers for a more accurate rating. We're going to use calipers here. So now we're going to zero our calipers. Could you please hit the Z uh, minus 100 in just a moment once I get this there. There we go. And now. So here on the calipers, as you can see, it moved pretty much exactly uh, 100 there. And so it was 360. I'm going to measure it again. Now it's 260, 26, 26 centimeters. So with that kind of measurement, you know, on, uh, if you type 100 in the interface there or using the manual jog commands, you do plus 100, it moves 100. If it's not moving 100, please check your motor switches and make sure they are on 3 and 4 for our version 9 and 10 printers. There's a few other things that could change it, like the gearbox and things like that. Please contact our tech support if you need additional help because there's a couple other things that could be varying it and just a couple other factors. Thank you.